This video is brought to you by AmeriUSA.com, where you can screen tenants 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In this episode, we will be discussing South Dakota Landlord Tenant Laws. The following is a summary of landlord tenant laws in the state of South Dakota as they apply to residential rental property. Topics include disclosures, withholding rent, the right to enter, security deposits, eviction, increasing rent, and more. Required disclosures, manufacturing of methamphetamines, any landlord who has actual knowledge of prior manufacturing of methamphetamines in a rental unit must disclose that information to any lessee or any person who may become a lessee of the same rental unit. Security Deposit Limit The equivalent of one month's rent may be collected as security. Special circumstances requiring a higher deposit may be permissible if it's clear that there is an increased risk for damage to the premises. Deadline for returning a security deposit. The landlord must return the deposit within two weeks after the end of tenancy and must tell the tenant why deductions were taken, if any. It is then up to the tenant to request a written accounting of the deductions, which must be provided by the landlord within 45 days. Late fees. There is no South Dakota statute that addresses late fees. So in order to charge one, it must be written into the lease agreement. Increasing rent. On a month to month lease, a landlord must give tenants at least one month's written notice to raise rent or change another term. Longer lease agreements cannot be increased unless the agreement itself specifically addresses raising the rent. Withholding rent. If a landlord fails to maintain a habitable rental unit, the tenant may repair the property and withhold the cost from the rent. However, the tenant must give the landlord notice first and allow a reasonable amount of time for the problem to be corrected. If the repairs exceed one month's rent, then rent may be withheld entirely. Terminating Tenancy and Eviction A three-day unconditional notice to quit may be used for non-payment of rent, substantial damage to the property, or holding over after the lease expires. A landlord may use an immediate unconditional notice to quit as long as the lease has a clause that provides for immediate termination. The Right to Enter Although South Dakota doesn't address a particular amount of time, a landlord should provide the tenant a reasonable notice of entry before being permitted inside the unit. For more information, additional laws and articles can be found at AmericanLandlord.com.